No, dude, really, they look like clones. You have to have, like, some personality. Yes, guys, it's happening. We're watching The Matrix today. It's actually crazy. Like, I don't think we need to talk about it. It's a shame that I haven't seen this movie. However, I think there's a good reason for that. I think this movie is gonna mess with my head. I vaguely know the plot. And I think in today's reality, like, with modern technologies and AI and stuff like that, it's kind of scary, but I'm very excited to watch it. I really am. I love Keanu Reeves. I love sci-fi movies in general. I'm not even sure if that's like consider sci-fi so yeah it's definitely gonna be interesting quickly before we happen make sure to subscribe to my channel a lot of you guys are not subscribed and it will make me happy give this video a thumbs up and follow me on my socials all the links are in the description as usual without further ado let's check the matrix out what is this some, some sort of code i was just the opening credits okay <laughs> you weren't supposed to relieve me but i felt like taking a shift you like him, don't you? Wait, who? You like watching him. Wait, what? We're gonna kill him. You understand that? Morpheus believes he is the one. This is intriguing. Apparently there's like a guy they intend to kill. And they call him the one. So I'm pretty sure that's a story about the chosen one. <laughs> Ray! Police! Hands in your head! Do it! Hello. Do it now! <laughs> She's so unfaced. Girly, what did you do? Special agents? Son of Not gonna lie, they look like men in black. <laughs> is this a movie about aliens? The orders were for your protection. Protection? <laughs> is it dangerous? I sent two units. Yeah, that's what I was gonna mention. There are so many cops. But she's so badass. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? You're so impressive. How is she doing it? Oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh, she's so badass. I love her. <laughs> Morpheus. The line was traced, I don't know how. I know. Wait, 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 wait. That's the girl from the beginning. She was on a line talking about, like, killing some guy. No time. You're gonna have to get to another exit. You have to focus, Trinity. Oh, Trinity. Such a pretty name. I love her outfit, by the way. Like, leather on leather. You know a movie character is cool when they're wearing leather. Like, it's just a universal rule. If you're wearing all black, or if you're wearing leather, you're just instantly considered a cool character. And she's wearing black leather. And we're also a Spider-Man. She's everything Tobey Maguire wanted to be. Mm-hmm. Like, he wanted to be her so badly. Go with! Fly! Oh. That's impossible. My dude is also superhuman. <laughs> Hello! I'm so impressed! That was a full body dive. Honestly, I want to have the same level of confidence that she has. What? Can you teleport through a telephone line? She escapes, right? We have the name of their next target. The name is Neo. Neo. Neo is the main character. Keanu Reeves is Neo. That's... that's what I know. How did it... Okay, they will explain it, I guess, at some point. But I'm hooked. Like, this opening scene is crazy. How the heck... Does Keanu Reeves look exactly the same as he did 20 years ago? Like, him and Jared, they need to share the secrets. I swear to God, they drink, like, the elixir of youth or something. Or virgin's blood. Like, one of the two. Wake up, Neo? So, computers talk to us now? That's cool. I'm totally chill with that. The Matrix has you. Follow the white rabbit. Follow the white rabbit. Yeah, sure, no questions asked. A freaking computer is telling me to follow the... Knock, knock. Oh. Damn. You're two hours late. I know. It's her fault. You got the money? He lives in the apartment 101. That's funny. Is it like a reference to the binary code or something? Because it's the Matrix and it's all about computers and stuff. But they are focusing on this number for a reason. <laughs> Damn it, this computer has its own life. 
Wait, simulation what? You look a little wider than usual. My computer, it... Lives its own life, yeah. Should we take him with us? It'll be fun. I promise. Follow the white rabbit. Sure. You're gonna do it? I'll go. Ooh. <laughs> the computer just wanted him to chill. My man, you look tense. You need to go party. Hello, Neo. Hello, Trinity. How you doing, Nick? I know a lot about you. Yeah, that's not creepy. It's like top 10 worst pickup lines. I know a lot about you. I brought you here to warn you. What? They're watching you, Neo. Oh my god. Would you believe her? Like, if just a random girl showed up one day and just told you that you're being watched and that you're in danger, what would you do? Like, she hacked into his computer. Why you live alone and why night after night you sit at your computer. Dude, he's just lonely. And when he found me, he told me I wasn't really looking for him. I was looking for an answer. Do you have to be so vague? <laughs> what is the matrix? It's looking for you. She's speaking in riddles. If you wanted to. And it also keeps me entertained because I, as a viewer, want to know more. I love the mystery component. Meta Cortex. Is it weird that it's called Meta? Yeah, I told you guys. This movie is gonna freak me out. You believe that you are special, that somehow the rules do not apply to you. Obviously, you are mistaken. Aw, don't tell me I'm nothing. Either you choose to be at your desk on time from this day forward, <laughs> or you choose to find yourself another job. Wait, he was late? All this speech because he was late? Thomas Anderson? Wait, Thomas? Uh, his name was Neo. Have a nice day. Wait. If you rearrange the letters in the word Neo, it's gonna be one, right? And they were talking about finding the one. Maybe that's why they call him Neo. They're coming for you, Neo, and I don't know what Who are they? Who's coming for you? We've got the same questions. Stand up and see for yourself. Do it slowly. The elevator. Are you always watching me? Ooh, man in black are back. What the heck? How do you know what's happening to me, like, 24-7? Why do they all look the same? You can use the scaffold to get to the roof. No way. No way. This is crazy. Yeah, I agree. There are two ways out of this building. One is that scaffold, the other is in their custody. Well, when you put it this way. And you hang up? Man, I need your guidance. What the heck? Don't leave me alone as I'm about to jump out of the window. Well, maybe he's not gonna jump, but you know what I mean. Oh, damn. That's insane. I can't do this. You can. Come on. What? Did... He... So he went with them. I mean, it was pretty high up there. I'm not judging him. But he's kind of fucked now, isn't he? No, dude, really. They look like clones. You have to have, like, some personality. As you can see, we've had our eye on you for some time now, Mr. Anderson. Yeah, and I don't appreciate it. It seems that you've been living two lives. Ooh, a little Hannah Montana situation going on. Oh, you guys are gonna be so mad at me for making this reference. But it's all I got, okay? One life, you're Thomas A. Anderson, program writer for a respectable software company. Okay, that's me. Help your landlady carry out her garbage. Such a nice man. Go by the hacker alias Neo and oh. you're guilty of virtually every computer crime we have a law for. Ooh, drama! You're here because we need your help. He's like Elliot from Mr. Robot, which is like one of the best, if not the best, TV shows out there. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's incredible, it's amazing. The man who calls himself. Oh, we don't like him. We don't like Morpheus. He is considered by many authorities to be the most dangerous man alive. Ooh. Again, I'm asking you, what do you guys believe him? Because he represents the authorities, and Morpheus is just some random dude on the phone. And if they say that he's, like, 
the most dangerous man alive, who would you believe? And how can you make a correct judgment based on the information that you have? Like, I surely don't know what exactly he knows about Morpheus, but right now it sounds like he's a pretty dangerous individual who's contacted me for whatever reason. There was also like this Trinity chick that somehow knows my name and knows who I am, which is also freaky. And I guess they're in cahoots with each other. So on one hand we have like the authorities and on the other hand we have two random people who were watching me, who know a lot about me and who have asked for my help. What do you do? Cooperation in bringing a known terrorist to justice. With all that being said, I don't like this guy. <laughs> he looks fishy. How about I give you the finger? <laughs> He's a freaking legend. And you give me my phone call. He's like, yep, I choose the stalkers. What good is a phone call if you're unable to speak? Is this a threat? Okay, I want to keep my tongue. Thank you. What? <gasps> what is happening? Oh my god. How did you do that? Ew. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I don't like what's going on. Through his belly button? Oh no. <laughs> That's so gross. Don't tell me it was a dream. Do not tell me it was a dream. Honestly, dude, I wouldn't sleep for like a month after that. What are you talking about? What? What is happening to me? Thanks for asking the right questions. You may have spent the last few years looking for me, but I've spent my entire life looking for you. Ooh. So let me be clear, he was looking for Morpheus, so technically he knows about this guy. I guess what I want to know, what exactly was he looking for? What the hell is this? It's necessary, Neo. For our protection. What is necessary? From you. Take off your shirt. What? Stop the car. They want to check if he has, like, the bug, right? I know exactly where it ends. And I know that's not where you want to be. <laughs> She's like, I can offer you a new life. It will be hella mysterious, but also exciting. God. Jesus Christ, that thing's real! That was not a dream. That was so gross. Let me give you one piece of advice. Be honest. He knows more than you can imagine. Okay, Trinity. I'll do what you say. I trust you wholeheartedly. I'm not sure if that's wise or not, but I don't care. I imagine that right now you're feeling a bit like Alice. My dude really loves Alice in Wonderland. Like, it was for sure his favorite childhood story. Because he keeps going back to it. Do you believe in fate, Neil? No. Why not? Because I don't like the idea that I'm not in control of my life. Ooh. I get that. I totally get that. Honestly, okay, let's talk for a second. I kind of want to believe in fate because in that case, whenever something shitty happens, I can just say it's just fate. I can blame it on fate, on this like concept. But then again, what is the meaning of life if you can't control anything? If you, if you can't change anything? If you like live according to the plan that whoever had created before you even were born. Like, I kind of want to believe that I matter at least a little bit. You felt it your entire life. That there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there. Don't we all have this feeling, though? The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room. Yeah, but what is it? It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. Ooh. So it's like a distraction. A distraction from reality. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. Oh, you have to feel it, you have to experience it. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. What would you choose? You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. You can gain all this knowledge that Neo has been trying to obtain his whole life. He was trying to unravel the truth, whatever it is. Or you can take the blue pill and kind of pretend that it never happened. I think I'd go with the red one. Like, I'm too curious. But also, don't take random pills from strangers. That, that's just a piece of advice. Ooh, wow. 
Oh, it's happening. The world around him is changing. Alice in Wonderland again. Through the looking glass. How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? Well, the general consensus is stuff like that does not happen in real world. That's how I would normally know. He did take the pill, though. How do you know if that's not just the effects of the pill? Ah! Oh no! No! He's going into no, arrest. No, no, no. It is inside of him. Uh. Uh. Why is he a bug? And why is he bold? Oh, he's one of many. What? Many, many. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What is this? My insect mobile? You want to grab me by my neck? That is plain disrespectful. Now you're drilling into me? <laughs> the heck just happened? Oh. Oh, we're in a water park. How nice. This was traumatic. I'm not gonna lie. It traumatized me, this scene. I will never be the same. Right? Welcome to the real world. Oh, so I'm a bug in the real world. Great. We found him. Why is he bold? You're bold when you're born. That's what... Okay. Okay, that makes sense. He's a newborn. Literally. Why am I eyes, sir? You've never used them before. That's a great line. Oh, what's this? Am I a cyborg now? You believe it's the year 1999, when in fact it's closer to 2199. Ooh, time jump. You wanted to know what the Matrix is, Neo? Still do. Oh! Oh? Are we dead? This is the construct. Uh huh. It's our loading program. Uh huh. You can load anything from clothing to equipment. That's convenient. Right now, we're inside a computer program. Is it really so hard to believe? Yeah, kinda. It exists now only as part of a neural interactive simulation that we call the Matrix. Wait, the world that he considered the real world is a simulation and it doesn't exist anymore? Well, that sucks to know. We marveled at our own magnificence as we gave birth to AI. I don't like where it's going. I told you I can get easily freaked out by stuff like that. A singular consciousness that spawned an entire race of machines. They were dependent on solar power. And oh, okay, guys, we're in the clear. Nobody uses solar power. <laughs> the human body generates more bioelectricity than a 120 volt battery and over. Oh my god, they feed on people. Endless fields where human beings are no longer born. We are grown. A human factory. The Matrix is a computer generated dream world to keep us under control. A simulation, then. In order to change. A human being into this battery source of energy let me out let me out i want out no coming back though they told you i did what i did because you're the one i had to he can somehow save them all as long as the matrix exists the human race will never be free so you have to destroy the matrix but what are you going to do with the machines the oracle prophesized his return that his coming would hail the destruction of the Matrix. That's you, Neo. End the war. Bring freedom to our people. Congrats. I did what I did because I believe that search is over. Hey, hello. Yeah, so the existence of the entire human race rests on your shoulders now. Good luck. 100% pure old fashioned homegrown human born free right here. So he can be born here. How about combat training. Ooh. Let's go. Ooh. Is it painful? Oh, that is it? What you must learn is that these rules are no different than the rules of a computer system. Some of them can be bent. Ooh. Others. That's exciting. <laughs> Look 
of my man, he's so excited. Oh, this is fighting Neo. <laughs> Movie time. Why does it look kind of goofy though? <laughs> I don't know, they look like cartoon characters. Oh, shit. How did I beat you? Broke some rules, I guess. You think that's air you're breathing now? Huh? Don't do- hmm, to me. Explain yourself, sir. Again. Basically said, use your imagination, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. I don't believe it. That's so cool. You have to let it all go, Neo. Fear, doubt, and disbelief. You're gonna make him jump off the roof? Oh, dude. Yeah, I'll sit this one out. Right. No problem. From my moment. Wait, what happens if he fails? Ooh. Well, that's uh. At least he's not dead. Everybody falls the first time. Right, friend? If you're the chosen one, it doesn't mean you have to do everything perfectly. I don't remember you ever bringing me dinner. <laughs> well, apparently he's the one, so you know. The Matrix is a the system. The music. Here. These people are still a part of that system, and that makes them our enemy. This is kind of sad. Like, the fact that you haven't freed them, that they are not free, instantly makes them your enemy. It's a little bit unfair, don't you think? What are they? Sentient programs. They can move in and out of any software. Wait, they're not human? They will never be as strong or as fast as you can be. Because he's ready to break the rules? That I can dodge bullets? Trying to tell you that when you're ready, you won't have to. Okay, that's a promise. You will be the bullets. We got trouble. I said no. Killing machine design for one thing. And it's in a shape of a bug. Does it have to be bugs? Oof. No, these are actual bugs. You're a freaking machine. You can choose whatever form you want to. And you choose to look like bugs. Honey. Is that the Matrix? Yeah. Is that the code of the Matrix? Hey, you uh, want a drink? <laughs> it doesn't matter if that's the real world or the Matrix. Booze is a constant. Why, oh why didn't I take the blue pill? <laughs> yeah, right now, the red pill literally seems like a nightmare. It's a nightmare choice. So you're here to save the world. Yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. After nine years, you know what I realize? Wait, I don't understand. It's the same dude. Then we have a deal. I don't want to remember nothing. Oh, nothing. oh no, no, no. I don't want to be rich. He wants the blue peel. You know, someone important. Ay, ay, ay. Whatever you want. Reinsert me into the matrix. I'll get you what you want. I mean, there is always a betrayal. I should get used to it. Now do the machines really know what tasty wheat tasted like, huh? Maybe they got it wrong. If they created the Matrix and Tasty Wheat, they know what it tastes like. Because they created it. So what did you think of her? Of who? The lady in the red yeah, dress? The red dress. Yeah. I designed her. But if you'd like to meet her, I can arrange a much more personalized. Wait, party. what? It's good. What? We used to eat that. Really good noodles. Yeah, it's crazy to think that all of that doesn't exist. That your whole life was a lie. But the Matrix cannot tell you who you are. But an Oracle can. That's different. Different how? Like, how can you trust anything at this point? They just told you your whole life was a lie. And it's all fake. Your memories, your attachments. And she knows what? Everything? And she's never wrong. Try not to think of it in terms of right and wrong. That's a very convenient way of saying, well, she might be wrong. What is wrong anyway? And what is right? These are the other potentials. You can wait the other there. potentials? So he's a potential candidate for being the one? Also, this raises a question. If you're the chosen one, who chooses you? Okay! What truth? There is no spoon. Yeah, you're 
inside the matrix. Then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends, it is only yourself. You're too smart for me, kid. <laughs> Ooh, you learn fast. And don't worry about the days. What days? Okay. She knows the future. What's really going to bake your noodle later on is, would you still have broken it if I hadn't said anything? Don't. Don't play these mind games. Don't even start. I'm gonna spend the rest of my day thinking about what if what and what if what. <laughs> that didn't make any sense, but you, you know what I mean. The what ifs, they can drive you insane. I can see why she likes you. Who? Not too bright though. <laughs> I guess she's talking about Trinity. Being the one is just like being in love. No one can tell you you're in love, you just know it. That's a great analogy. I better have a look at you. Why is she doing it? If they're inside the Matrix, his human form doesn't really matter. But what? But you already know what I'm going to tell you. This riddles, man. I'm not the one. Sorry, kid. Morpheus. He almost had me convinced. So, what? He just decided that he's not the one? Like that? He believes it so blindly that he's going to sacrifice his life to say What? One of you is going to die. Which one will be up to you? And it's up to him. I don't want to make this choice. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. They keep drugging him. Everybody's just drugging him. We don't know what's inside these cookies. Wait. Deja vu. What did you see? What happened? It did exactly the same thing. What is it? A deja vu is usually a glitch in the matrix. It happens when they change something. Somebody broke the code or something. Oh my god. What does it mean? Let's go. They found us? Oh my god, he's gonna die! If he dies in the matrix, no! Poor mouse. Is that mouse? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really bad at remembering background characters that don't really matter in the long run. I'm sorry. I hope the Oracle gave you some good news. Yeah, about that. We talked. We definitely talked. <laughs> no! We're in the walls. Dude! Oh, we're gonna die. What happens? <laughs> that was sick! Cyber, come on! Yeah, you rat. And you are a smith. A smith? You all look the same to me. I agree. Ay, ay, ay. You're not gonna kill me? I mean, thank you. Take him. Oh. Take him? Take him where? What do they need from him? Information? Right. Making a call. What is Good. his plan? Does he want to kill the operator? You first knew. No! Shit. What a bitch. What a little bitch. Cypher, where's Tank? So, like, what stops him from killing them now? It's so easy. They're unconscious. A long time. I thought I was in love with you. Okay, she didn't want to fuck you. Get over it! I'm tired of this war. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of this ship. I mean, I kind of get it though. <laughs> Let's be real, like, this shit is so insane. I would be exhausted too. But it was your decision in the first place. Like, you made this decision to know the truth. I get it, you regret it now, but there is no way back. Morpheus told you about that, he warned you. So it's all on you. You have to deal with the consequences of your decisions. If you would have told us the truth, we would have told you to shove that red pill right up your ass. It doesn't really matter what he told them. It is what it is. Like, you made the decision. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, this world sucks. And the knowledge sucks. Still not his fault. You have to watch Apoc die. God damn it. Oh, it's so easy to kill them now. Not like this. Yeah, this must suck. Imagine, like, fighting this fight for years. And this is the way you die? Not even in the battle? That is so lame. You first. Oh, thank God. Whew. It's 
so three of them died. Not four, four of them died. And Morpheus was taken. They don't really have a group anymore. As a species, human beings define their reality through misery. Oh my god, stop! Oh, that's kind of true though. It's like we're addicted to something negative. You know what I mean? We can't live without the negativity. It's a paradox. Like, we want perfect life, but in some way, in some sense, we keep running away from it. We just need to learn to accept it, I guess. You had your time. Future is our world. What's their yes. end goal? What are they trying to achieve, I mean? If an agent got the codes and got into Zion's mainframe, they could destroy us. Okay, it sucks that the life of basically every human being depends on one code and one person who can give this code. Like, the entire civilization hinges on the will of one person. Morpheus, you're more than a leader to us. No, that is kind of sad. My father. Stop. Yep. She told me that I would have to make a choice. And you're doing it right now. Neo Morpheus sacrificed himself so that we could get you out. There is no way that you're going back in. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna return the favor. I'm gonna do the same damn thing. I'm not the one, Trinity. The Oracle hit me with that too. No, you have to be. Yeah, about that. Let me tell you what I believe. <laughs> I believe Morpheus means more to me than he does to you. Ooh. I believe if you are really serious about saving him, you are going to need my help. Let's go, Trinity. And since I am the ranking officer on this ship, if you don't like it, I believe you can go to hell. Let's go. You're not actually mammals. Go on. Instinctively develops a natural equilibrium with the surrounding environment, but you humans do not. Yeah, we try to change it. We destroy. That's kind of true. There is another organism that follows the same pattern of virus. Sure. Human beings are a disease and we are the cure. But technically we are a part of this planet. We're a part of nature. And what are you doing, honey? Anyway, you trying to destroy us is exactly what a virus would do. You know what I'm saying? You're a plague, not us. So what do you need? Besides a miracle. Guns. <laughs> Lots of guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> I knew that. Am I living in the Matrix? Hate this place. Zoo this prison. Then leave us be. God damn it. How is this a problem? Every time I do, I fear that I've somehow been infected by it. It's repulsive. Oh, you Isn't just it? a hater. <laughs> Once Zion is destroyed, there is no need for me to be here. Do you understand? Oh, he has personal motivation. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> there are still people. I mean, I get it. You have to treat everyone like it's the enemy. Anyone can be an agent. I get that. But that's brutal. She said rules. I don't know them. So basically he was John Wick before John Wick even happened. Okay. Okay. The way he's able to keep his composure. You've changed, Neo. You've changed. This is so badass. I don't appreciate you doing this. Help! You don't need her help. There it is. There it is. This is the scene. Dodge this. <laughs> that was so cool! Are you kidding me? God, I love Trinity. How did you do that? Do you bend the reality. Like they do. I've never seen anyone move that fast. She's like, are you an agent? Can you fly that thing? Not yet. Tank, I need a pilot program for a B-212 helicopter. Wait, if you can do that, if you can, like, obtain all the knowledge in the world, why haven't you done that already? Like, you can just know everything. Why does everything look better in slow-mo? It's fascinating. Do you think they teach it in acting schools? Like, is there a specific technique to look cool in action scenes? 
Yes! Let's go! You're free! That's so fucked up! What the heck? How did he not break his legs? Oh, she's not dying. She's not dying in this helicopter. Are you kidding me right now? No, no way. God damn it. Shit. Oh shit. Did you see that? <laughs> Do you believe it now, Trinity? <laughs> He's like, hello. So, what are we doing here? Hmm? Everything the Oracle told me has come true. Which means... Everything but this. What is going on? No. You're such a pain in the ass. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. <laughs> He's like, I'm the chosen one. Go fuck yourself. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. I don't think you're gonna see it happen. But you know, who am I to tell you not to believe in yourself? You go, Agent Smith. You go. Now we're talking. You hear that, Mr. Anderson? That is the sound of inevitability. It's just a moving train, relax. Bye-bye, Mr. Smith. So, you're telling me that that killed him? He's a freaking machine, though. Oh no, we're under attack. They're getting close. What? No, that can't be true! I don't understand. Oh, we're definitely dying. Ten rounds or something. Check him. He's gone. It's a part of his plan. He bends the reality. He slows down his pulse so that they believe that he's dead. When actually he's not dead. That's so sad to hear. He just died. You can't be dead <laughs> because I love you. Is the power of love gonna save him? I love you. That would be so goofy. <laughs> My girl Trinity just saved him. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> no. No. Damn. How? He is the one. I love how that's the answer to every single question. Did he just destroy the Matrix? Oh, he's a bloody machine. I have no idea how it happened. He was dead. What? What was that? God. Damn. So he's the chosen one, the almighty powerful being. And he still needs the telephone. We all have our limits. So sweet. Again, how the hell did she bring him back from the dead? No clue. I know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. Oh, don't talk to me like that. I don't know the future. I'm going to show them a world. Without you. Oh, it's gonna be chaos. Where anything is possible. Is this how it ends? Yeah. He's real proud of himself. You can see it in his eyes. Okay. What the heck? Um, this movie is kind of a lot. As you can expect, I guess. Right now I feel like I have been woken up from the Matrix, which I guess was like the intention of this movie. Um, you know, it raises a lot of questions about the way we live, about our future maybe, the future of AI. I don't know, man. 
I'm confused, but in a good way. I really do hope that I understood everything correctly, because there were a lot of moments where I was just sitting, like, wondering if it's real or... Um... Wondering what the hell is going on, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I think this is a crazy movie. <laughs> like, most of the time I was just sitting there with my jaw on the floor. I should definitely watch this movie again. Um, I think I missed a lot of stuff. When you watch something for the first time, you obviously can speak up on everything. And I think there were a lot of details and a lot of moments that I missed. Totally tell me in the comments, you guys, uh, all your thoughts, all your opinions. It will be really interesting for me to kind of find out what you guys think. Obviously, I'm very late to the party. Um, it's a cultural phenomenon, I think, like this movie. And I'm only watching this for the first time, like, right now. But I hope we can all agree that it's a great movie. <laughs> and I love the soundtrack, I love the actors. It was uh, phenomenal. I really loved it. And a very, very interesting and thought-provoking concept, I would say. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next reaction. Bye, guys.